today. I gotta admit, it was satisfying, like way more satisfying than the original. It gave us a freaking coherent ending. Oh crap, no, 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 no. I mean, like, it really gave us a very satisfying ending to this, to this series because, well, for those of you guys who have never seen the show or who have at least heard of it, the real essay was something of a dumpster fire. Like, it... It was really messed up. Like, there were so many plot holes and inconveniences that... What? That really, you know, messed it all up. Like, yes, it was mostly hair and bait. It was sort of wish fulfillment. Kirito was... Had more personality than a piece of wood. And lots of people love to hate on that. Thank you, Digibro. But, I really liked how the fact that... Uh, well, I know that was coming. But I really liked how the abridged version actually gave Kirito a personality. And at the end, you literally see all the development he went through. And I liked it. Oh, well, but really, I was really happy for like how it all ended. Like it even gave Kaiba a decent, like, yes, vengeance is ours. And first blood, our first Titan kill. I know, I know. We did kill him originally, but, well, the game kind of got crashed on me. I know, it sucks. Well, that was weird. I mean, what exact- is this like a sort of Shadow of the Colossus thing where this kid we're playing as turns out to actually be a titan who was cast out and basically, you know, ruined and now he's just trying to reclaim himself again? Let's go with number two, the- I don't know what the hell this thing is. Oh, the cute. That didn't last long. The ice cube in the brain. Well, the brain in an ice cube, boss. Now, you want to know something interesting? Well, once we take care of all the bosses, you'll notice that the door to the next area is actually going to be open. But. More on that later. Anyway, I really liked how SAO Abridged, and there's the fourth boss. You can find any of these bosses in any order, really, but... Yep. John I. I met the level design of this place is pretty amazing. But... Oh, we can climb. Cool! Got me, like, Earthbound vibes, actually, now that I think about it. But... Yeah, going back to what I was saying about SAO Abridged, like, that series, it really revitalized SAO for me, like, I hate, I like, I was okay with the series, but then after a while I started hating it because a lot of people, I didn't really point out the inconsistencies of the show, and the whole, uh, problems that even the creator himself admits that this whole series suffers from, but SAO really, Abridged really helped out with that. Okay, I know how to beat this boss. Uh, shit, come on! Okay, I kind of had that one coming. So now you know how to kill that boss. You gotta use the flame arrow to weaken it. But yeah, you notice the little pedestal, all those little lights were lighting up? Every time we kill a boss, we always that ends up happening to us. We, it ends up lighting up another passage way out. What the hell? 
You gotta find a way to roll out of the way like I should have done and kill the boss before you, it can slide into you. Yeah, easier said than done, really. I think it really helps if you can just... What the frick? Yeah, this is gonna be like Dark Souls. You're gonna watch me die numerous times before this is all over. But yeah, uh, as I said, bridge, I gotta say, it really gave credits to the character, and it even gave Kaya, but something of a, something of a decent, you know, like a decent. Shit! Oh, sweet, cool. Grab. Ah. Is this Dark Souls levels of difficult? Okay, you gotta time it so you can aim for the air. Like that. Time it so as soon as you can drop, you get the arrow. Two down. Sweet. We're making good progress in about 30 minutes. Okay, fine. Well, that takes care of the brain. Now let's go on to the cube. The hand, the tight, the actual golem one is actually a bit easier to take care of, but I find that it's the cube and the brain that kind of give people the most trouble. But this is like the first boss. Oh god. Yeah! You kind of saw what it can do. It can shoot lasers out of his eyes. Like Madeir from Dark Souls 3. But yeah, really SAO a bridge. I felt that that was a proper way to make fun of the series. But also, it gave the series a lot more depth than it did. Ah. Holy shit, that was easy! Uh, okay, I guess if you're going to be able to pull it off like that, you can just do that boss in like two seconds. Wow. Okay, that happened. So yeah, um, what else can I talk about? Oh, uh, D-Pad, we just posted up, the, uh, DZ posted up the re new episode. I think it was either this Thursdays or last week's or something, I don't know. Logan's not in it, but Comastar is, and we get to some pretty interesting funny shenanigans with it. Yeah, finally! The Golem! Okay, this one's a lot more easier. Wow! This... I just thought we were gonna, this was gonna be a lot more tougher, but I just want... Thank you, reflexes! And... That's all four titans in this level. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm not cheating or anything. I, this is literally my first time playing this game, and honestly... This is easy. I thought it was gonna be a lot more tougher than this, but... Holy crap! Oh, hey, uh, viewer. Out of the frying pan. First achievement! Ooh. Let's see where this goes from here. Yeah, sorry if you kind of missed like the first few minutes and boss. So, you'll probably see it actually in the video. I, might, I don't know if I'll upload this and then the next video like later. Or something. I'll work on that, but... That was bull. That was so bull crap. And... It looks like there are three more... Wait. The bow, the arrow, a heart? Oh right, that was... This is just the tutorial area. Now here's where the real game kicks in. You guys thought we were done. <laughs> nope. 
If we want to get through this game, we got to kill all these bosses. We got to kill more than just the big four. Those are the promo ones. Well, let's see what's over here. Yep. That was just one area. Two, three, four, eight areas of bosses. Or eight bosses, I guess, in general. This is basically boss rush the game. I love the music in this game though, it's pretty dope. Uh, okay, I know Tuber 4 played this and I think he went to the snow level. I think that's like down left or bottom? Nope. But yeah, uh, DZ Dog and DZ Dog, Komasar, uh, uh, Rebel, Taxi, and I Got the new episode out, and I'll link it into the description of this video afterwards. Check it out if you guys want to. I think we were just talking about some random crap that I think we're pretty much getting us all censored, really, but... Eh. What else haven't we done? Water. I don't know if I'm going the right way here. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. I gotta admit though, this game looks gorgeous for like 8-bit. It reminds me a bit of Earthbound. There's you know, small character designs. Yeah, I definitely remember this place now. Super 4 went here and this is the ice area of the game. Yep, call it. So yeah, I have no freaking idea what to expect from this. Uh, <laughs> I guess really this game is a lot like Journey, like it doesn't tell you the full story of the game, it just, you know, shows it to you and you can interpret it as you will. I like that. I really do. Okay, looks like we got a light all these sconces. That should be easy enough. I didn't expect us to actually get through that first area so fast. Let this actually be there a bit longer. Now. Huh. Here we go. Make one more skunk and we got this. I don't know if like letting all these sconces will do me anything meaningful, I just want to, you know, light them just for the sake of it. Yoink. Oh. Okay. There's sconce down. I don't know why we're- oh yeah, we're trying to open up this way. That's what I really like, like, use the environment to your advantage to access the other bosses. Should be simple enough. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is Shadow of the Colossus right now. This is Shadow of the Colossus. I've always been terrified of the ocean, you know. You never know what the hell is down in there until... Uh... Whoa! Holy crap! Uh... Giant eel! Okay, I think I know how to do this now. We gotta... Oh, we gotta aim for its tail! And we cannot be there when it electrocutes the water. No. Damn! Okay, come on, you giant ugly eel.
We gotta aim for the we gotta aim for its tail. Damn. One super eel. Oh come on! We're close. What the? Uh, how do I kill him? Uh, but uh, what? I mean, I guess we can really discuss about the whole. Yes! This eel boss was way more tougher than yours. Okay, actually, I will take that. Back to the Shadow Colossus, it was difficult, right? I'm glad at the very least you tried it. Shadow the Colossus is, this is really giving me vibes of Shadow of the Colossus, a 2D version of it, but it, it's close enough. But I'm really kind of, I really like that game. I mean, Shadow of the Colossus, it, it's a great game. Fun, very addicting. Really majestic in that vibe of. Okay, now we got that save point. Oh, so there's only three bosses here. But, yeah, that game had, like, so many colossi, but it was all beautifully done, too. Like, all the... Guess we can't do it that way. I think I know how to do this. Uh, just gotta get up. Oh, uh, what? We, we, we gotta actually... Dang it. Let's check out this one. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ, what the hell is this? Okay. Uh, head. I don't know how to explain this. I have no idea if we actually have a reason to if we don't actually have a thing we can do to kill us, man. Ah! Okay, I don't know how we're gonna kill that one. Let's find where the last one is. I think... I don't know about the th the stat boss, but let's try this one out. Okay. Jotun! Well, that was fast! Okay, we basically got a rundown of all three of the bosses. We got a Yeti, we had a giant electric eel, and now we got a freaking... Uh, Easter Island head. Great. Don't get hit by its snowballs and run for the hills. Oh, we got. Oh, I saw its weak point too, and it was oh, really. It's real. It's its ass. It's it's literally its ass. What the hell? <laughs> well, there's gotta be a weak point somewhere. I was expecting you know the gut, but. Oh, damn it! Sorry, my grandpa's here. I apologize if you guys hear this. Dang it! Just ignore my dogs. They're they're, they're always this this wild whenever someone visits. Yeah, they'll stop eventually. Okay, so we gotta get behind it when it does that roll, otherwise it won't work. So, I got, uh, what, what was gonna really talk about? I mean, uh, I finally got my headset, but... Problem is, I can speak, but the thing is, when I try setting the thing to, you know...
to like, you know, speak with people, it doesn't work. What? Ah. Uh, so close. Like, when I try to like speak with someone, they can hear me. When I try you setting the volume to my headset, I can't hear a thing. I, I don't know why. It should work. I mean, we fucking ordered it from Amazon. That, that should always work. Maybe it's just something up. Maybe it's just something up with my uh. Ah. Uh, maybe it's just something up with my uh d desktop in general. Like, maybe I just really can't. I mean, I'm glad I can finally talk with the guys. It's just I can only hear them through the TV, and I can't hear them through the headset. I'm trying to ask my friends, you know, my friends Marquise and Will, but they aren't really helping all that much. They're busy with life, as Will puts it. And really, it's just a bit depressing because of the fact that I usually rely on these guys for help. Oh man, that Yeti was smart. But really, I, I, I trust those two, but at the same time, I feel a bit bad over the fact that literally I have to, I gotta rely on them to help. I mean, I can always ask Marquise's boss to help, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to trouble him and then he, I have to pay. Oh, so. Oh, I thought I didn't have the arrow that time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yeti! One of the most frustrating bosses, and I have to like literally shoot him in his butt. With just one arrow, what the hell? Can I get a quiver? Can I get a quiver, please? What the f- uh. In other news, I recently found a KISS cartoon again, it's going by the- and no, I'm not gonna say it again. I don't want to get copyright claims, but... Uh, just look up the Reddit about that- about that show if you want to- about that site, and you'll find it. Oh, sweet God! Beating the Yeti. Damn! I'm still wondering exactly what are we collecting? Are we collecting like souls? Are we like gonna become like Dorman? Like wander at the end of Shadow Colossus? I'm spoiling, but come on, that game has been out for god knows how long. That game's been out for so long. I mean, come on, you must have already known how that ends. Uh, I feel like I'm Kyava. Like, I said I will bridge Kaya, but I know references to games like no one else knows. Let's see, that's three people down. Uh, what's up here? That's what I love about this game, it encourages you to explore. Okay. Uh, it looks like some kind of god or something giving power to someone, a story wall, I guess? I don't know. Like, I literally don't know about this game. But I gotta admit, that's one of the main things I love about games like this. It makes you, you know, watch a, a piece the story together and figure out what the hell's going on. I like that. I really do. Kinda wish the climbing down animation was a bit faster. Eh. But, we got one more enemy to kill. That's gonna be fun. I gotta figure out how to kill him though. But I think we'll go on ahead and you know take care of this boss. Uh, we'll try taking care of this boss maybe one more try and then I'll call it for now. At least I'm farther ahead than two before. Okay, so they can kill wait, do I actually need a fire arrow for this? You gotta be kidding me. I actually need a fire arrow, don't I? I need a fire arrow for this. 
Fuck. Sorry for cursing, but... Oh, we also talked about the uh, new Rick and Morty episode, uh, season premiere. How do I get this? Do I shoot the hand? And that bite that feeds. Gotta be a way to get this boss. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call it for now, guys, in case we get crashed again, but... Let me know what you guys think. Like, do you guys have any tips on how to kill this boss? I mean, I can really use them. I mean, come on. I am a scrub. There's gotta be a way we can kill him. But, yeah, I'm... Oh, here. Gotta take a look at that later, next time. But yeah, I'm Dragon King Mark, and this has been part one, well, one and a half of Titan Souls. Tomorrow, we are going to try to take on that giant-ass head and see if we can kill it. I hope so. I really do. By the way, like, favorite, subscribe, uh, you know, just check out all the, just check out my YouTube, check out, uh, our DZ podcast, if you guys want, D-Pad podcast, if you want to check it out, check out DZ Dog and the others, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Later!